There's a five million pound steel bridge at the northern tip of Lake Superior that stands in the way of progress. Located on Highway 11 in Nipigon, Ontario, this two-lane bridge connects east to west and is the only realistic route for cross-country road transport in Canada. Two lanes of the new four-lane cable-stayed bridge have been built to replace it, and the old bridge needs to be lifted and moved so the remaining two lanes can be constructed. Western's engineers have studied the site and carefully crafted a plan that will involve freeing the bridge from the piers and rolling it west to be disassembled over land. To accomplish this, Western have fabricated a series of customized hydraulic rollers. These rollers are equipped to handle twice the weight of this imposing structure. With heavy-duty hydraulic jacks, the bridge is raised up just enough to slide in these specialized rollers. We're here preparing the bridge for de-launching. We've got 48 16-inch diameter rollers underneath the bridge. Each one of those rollers can take 100 tons by itself. Eight of those rollers have got hydraulic gearboxes attached to them, and each one of those hydraulic drives can put 10 ton of force into the bridge. We should have lots of power in order to roll the bridge forward. Over the center of the large spans, the girders get much thinner. So it turned out that we could do the job if we put a tower up with the cables to hold the end of the bridge up as we were de-launching it. With the decking removed, it's time to get this bridge rolling. The moment of truth has arrived. We're rolling. As the bridge scurries along at a methodical pace, a team waits on the western shore to remove sections as they arrive on land. It is then cut through with the torches and dragged away to the scrap heap. The bridge has been removed up to the first pier. Now it's time for the next challenge. The eastern portion of the bridge is about to roll off the pier and must now be supported by the king post. Strand jacks tighten the cables and the post begins to take on the immense weight. It is now safe for the crew to carefully begin bridge migration to the west. Hey Andrew, ready when you are. Okay, all valves are open. Rolling. Head rolls, sir. How do we look, Larry? Everything looks good here. Are you off the rollers yet, Larry? We are off all four rollers. Andrew! Please start ramping the speed, please. The king post is working flawlessly and is now bearing the full weight of the east end of the bridge. The bridge rolls along until the king post is no longer required. The final sections of the bridge that can be rolled have been disposed of. With only a small section remaining over the shore, the time has come for Western to get in and remove the last of their equipment. Can you get your swing that way a little bit? There we go. We're flying now. We're good. We got a pretty strong engineering group now that uh, know how to react to this kind of stuff. And now all our gear's out of the way, they can go ahead and break it down all they need. With their equipment removed, all that's left is to stand by and wait for that last section of bridge to come plummeting down to earth. There certainly wasn't anything taken for granted in having to lift and roll something this size. But with engineering ingenuity and a smart, safe and hard-working team, Western Mechanical was able to create an empty space where a five million pound steel bridge once stood and make a seemingly impossible task a reality.